welcome to Infinity's Shaman Circle. I have created a sacred space dedicated to you, your body and soul, and our spirit tribe connections. Here, Soul Family Journeys Together. Well, hello there, loves. Welcome to Infinity Shaman Circle. This is officially the first episode of this podcast I'm super excited about because this is an accompany to the Soul Quest program's first map on my website, archangelslove.com. For those of you who are in the program, welcome and congratulations that you have taken this enormous, awesome step for yourself, for your soul, for your soul story, for your life, and everything that you're meant to do in it to deeply connect with yourself and your soul. The Soul Quest program is comprised of eight body and soul maps, starting with the first one, the spiritual body, then the mental body, emotional body, physical body, energetic body, abundant body. And then we get into your true identity and your spirit name, helping you uh, connect to and find and and integrate your spirit name after we uh, get to your true identity, not the person who you were your whole life, who you were before your healing, any healing you've done, your spiritual connections, your spiritual awakening, uh, the who you are now, and the person who is uh, connected to themselves in a really deep, rich way. And so again, congratulations for being guided, for taking the step, for for choosing yourself more than anything or anyone else when it comes to uh, your well-being. That is a no-brainer choice and decision. So here we go. <laughs> the spiritual body map. Um, and again, you can get all the information for the Soul Quest program on archangelslove.com. I'm going to be here weekly for each map to introduce you and get you ready, thinking about the, the next map that is coming on Tuesday. So for those of you in the program, the podcast comes out on Friday. I'm going to have the live show on uh, Monday. The first one's going to be an intro, introduction, uh, live show to the program. And then on Tuesday is going to be the release of the map. The first map is the spiritual map. Plus, if you have also gotten the Spirit Walk package, you'll be uh, receiving that as well, access to that as well. So we start with this podcast as days ahead of you getting the actual map. And what the map is, is a series of questions. It's a printable that you get through the program online. Once you enroll, you go to my programs and you'll see your program there. And then you can get to each step as they're released. If you're doing the live version um, as the inception of this Soul Quest program comes out. You're going to have to wait to go week to week, but um, thereafter you can sign up after we've already launched and we're still in on the maiden voyage um, in those nine weeks or anytime thereafter. And you have options for payments, either painful or pain monthly installments. I was guided to do that to make it hopefully as easy and as accessible for as many people as possible. So the first map is the spiritual map. And that's where we have lots of questions about uh, your relationship with yourself on a spiritual level and a lot of questions dedicated to your spirituality. So each map is comprised of, uh, like I said, it's a printable um, uh, that's released weekly. And 
uh, it's basically a series of questions um, for you to ask yourself and to respond to. On one hand, you want to be thoughtful about it. And on the other hand, you don't want to think too hard. You don't want to spend too much time thinking of the question that you're not actually just tapping in and answering it. I want to tell you that especially um, for this sort of thing, it's all about the truth and it's all about what's real and not what is comfortable or what you would want to be the truth, but what is actually the truth. And, um, and, uh, so the spirit or sorry, the spiritual body map, like I said, will ask you a lot of questions when it comes to your spirituality and make you think about your where you are currently and what your desires are, what you're magnetized to. It'll help you assess what your connections are currently. So to get a head start on that, just start thinking about where you are spiritually where you've been, what you, what, where you've grown, what you practice, what you connect to, how you feel, what's your, what's your overall take on that? Just broadly as things come through, paying attention to things. And then that way, when you get your map, you're going to be in that mindset of, of your spiritual body. This is the body that is most connected to your higher self, most easily connected with your soul, is the one that is the intuitive body. Um, even though your energetic body and your physical body and your emotional body, your mental body pick up and understand and process things um, to help back up how things are feeling for you, it's your spiritual body that's really... Um, going to help you uh, gauge where you're at and what those things might be. Um, but the spiritual body can be confused, can, um, you know, think or be trapped in more negative thinking if that's what the mental body and the emotional body has been doing too. They all influence each other. So as you work on the first body, the spiritual body, this is going to activate and get juices flowing within the other bodies as well. And as you go through each map, it's going to be obvious how they're connected and, um, and intertwined with each other because none of these aspects of you or your bodies are, you know, work independently of any of the other ones. It just doesn't work that way. But, it's really critical and important to focus in on and pay attention to and acknowledge each body very specifically. And the reason why we go to the spiritual body first instead of last, instead of like the physical body first and then the spiritual body last first is to right off the bat with this program is to assess where, where we are on a spiritual basis with ourselves. So, um, so as you move forward and then connect to the mental body and then the emotional body, um, you're going to, you're going to think back to the spiritual body. And then as you go, you're going to think back to the, to the, the, the work that you did before and I really highly suggest that you, as you get a new map, you look back at your old map and, and each one is going to be this blending into the other and into the other. And they all circle eat, um, the whole, which is you and your soul. That's the point again of the soul quest program is to get you connected with your soul to help answer all the important questions that you need to know. What's your life purpose? What are your missions? How do you live an authentic life? What are you supposed to do and create and, and, um, and focus on and prioritize and learn and explore? Like what? It's a big world out there. And there's a lot of directions that we can go in, but there's the optimal 
And because time is finite in these lifetimes, it's best to be efficient. Uh, this is also why I have a program uh, called the Evolve Now program that I work with my clients. And it's like the most popular thing, what I spend most of my time in is with the Evolve Now program with my clients, which is very, very limited amount of people I can work with at a time because it is it is very intensive and so involved. But it's called the Evolve Now program for a reason to help you evolve now, not later. <laughs> but now, because time is precious. It's the most precious commodity that we have, our time and our energy, of course, our health. <laughs> but when it comes to like possessive things, we need to see our time as a possessive, as something we own. We own our time or we're out of control with our time either way. But hopefully we own our time and we are responsible uh, with that time, urgent at times as well, because it's important that we um, don't dilly dally and allow ourselves to get complacent. And the spiritual body map will help you assess where you are on a spirit in in, in the spiritual space of yourself, where you are blocked, where you are in fear, where you have excelled, what, you know, all the things it's not, it's not all good or all bad or all neutral. It's, it's just, it just is. And so just think about it that way. Think about uh, receiving and connecting with your spiritual body in a way that helps you to be clear and conscious and present and non judgmental about your status, whatever it is. Because all of these maps are not meant to judge, they're meant to assess. There's no judgment here, it's just assessment, the truth, the reality, where you stand now where you can improve, what you should acknowledge and celebrate, what you need to let go of for each of your maps leading up to the identity map and the spirit name map that's going to help you answer those questions. So I hope that this has inspired you and excited you and motivated you for the first map of the Soul Quest program. This program is something that is so exciting to me and I'm, I'm so happy to have been guided to create it and, and be a part of it and facilitate it and offer it um, in the various ways that I am. And, and um, I know that it's going to blossom and grow into other things in the future. But this is the beginning of it is is this map, the spiritual map for the Soul Quest program. And again, if you have not enrolled in this in the Soul Quest pro program, you can at any time. You can start whenever you find it. Um, even after its launch, if it's not live, you would do the replay and at self-paced instead of live and scheduled. So there's going to be two different ways that you can enroll. And I highly recommend adding on the Spirit Walk package. It's going to greatly help you connect and assimilate and let go of and release and all the stuff that's going to make it so you are uh, as integrated and connected with each of your bodies and working through each of the body maps at the same time. And those spirit walks you can use for the rest of your life to help you whenever you need them. And you will know when you need them. So it's an awesome investment in yourself, in your, in your soul quest for as long as you may live as time goes forward. So I highly recommend that you get the spirit walk package. And again, if this is not the right time for you, that's totally cool. You can still be listening to this podcast, you can still be guided to do your own work, whatever way you're guided to do it. 
I highly encourage you to do that. I highly encourage you to watch the live shows that are going to be on Mondays on Fireside and Simulcast on YouTube that I'm going to be uh, posting all the links to in the description and all that good stuff um, in the podcast. Uh, so you can join and subscribe and and um, take from it what you're what you're guided to take from it. Don't hold back. Uh I truly believe that, you know, we need to be patient with ourselves, but we also need to push ourselves. So there's a fine line between, you know, getting ready and preparing and avoiding and getting distracted and procrastinating because we don't know what's around the other corner. It's a little scary. It's a little scary to get this deep with yourself. It's a little scary to ask all these questions of ourselves in so many different ways and levels. It's a little daunting, but I promise you that the way that it's designed in these pieced out ways by the week, um, and that it's not overwhelming, that you should be able to get done each map within two days, three days, but you have a whole six days between maps. And if you need longer than that, then don't start the next one. You know, this is designed so you don't have to turn in work. You don't have nobody to answer to. I suggest that you do it at that pace. That's how it was designed. But if something comes up and you can't, you can still pick right back off where you left off get back on the horse. If the horse takes a little bit longer, that's okay. That's okay. As long as you keep moving forward and you get through it as closely, you know, together as you possibly can. So basically what we've done is, is create this in a way where really no excuses, no excuses. And, and it's done with so much thought out to help you. There's also the forum, the group forum for it that you have lifetime access to, to post questions, to interact with your fellow Soul Quest uh, program participants at any stage in time. So when we first start out, the the group isn't going to be much at all because it's brand new. It just start, it's just starting. But give it six months, give it a year and you go back to that group, it's going to there's going to be so much there. So it's not like, you know, as time goes on, it's going to just get richer and richer. And another thing to keep in mind is that you can take yourself through this course again and again as you need. So uh, because we're always evolving, we're always growing, we're always looking to get clear with our souls and more connected with our souls. That is a never ending endeavor in these lifetimes. And um, it's never one and done. It's never one and done. We're never, never, never one and done. We need to repeat and wash, rinse, repeat over and over and over again. So I hope though that that inspires you and it makes you feel like, yes, while it's never ending at the same time, there's no actual like, goal, like I have to get here by that time or whatever, or anything like that. You're exactly where you're, you're meant to be, where you are, where you are, where you're meant to be. And, um, at any time you can choose to go from being static and being stationary to moving forward, even if it's slowly, any movement forward is, movement in the right direction. So again, thank you for being here. I am uh, inspired to inspire. I hope that my excitement and my energy for this program uh, inspires you, excites you and any apprehension, any fears that you may have, you put them aside and you go forward really, really excited to get into this work for yourself and let yourself expand through it. Now, the last thing I'll say is this map and all the maps are a starting off and a jumping point. You can take it further for yourself as you're guided. And I encourage you to do that. I'll talk about more, talk more about that in the live um, on Fireside on April 3rd, uh, 2023. But something for you to start considering now is that this entire program is a jumping off point for where you're meant to go next. So within the construct of the program from map to map, 
same thing goes. It's a jumping off point. So you can continue as you, more questions can come to you to ask yourself that isn't in the map. Some outside activities maybe to do that isn't in the map may come through for you. And let that, let yourself be inspired in your own journey that isn't structured within the program. I highly, highly, highly recommend that you open up to those possibilities starting right now. And again, if you're not in the program, let all that come through for you anyway. Do what you're meant to do on your own. If this isn't the right thing for you at the right time or whatever, let these podcast episodes of the maps, let the fireside lives um, inspire you, whatever else that I happen to put out um, in regards to the Soul Quest program. All right, loves, that is all for now. Don't forget, check me out on my website, archangelslove.com and on Medium at infinity underscore 963, which you can also get to from the links below and on my website. Until next time, I love you all so very dearly. Thank you for joining me here on Infinity's Shaman Circle audio on all the podcast platforms and video on YouTube at Archangels Love. Till next time, loves. I love you. Be good. Be happy. Be silly. Infinite silly. Bye.